I've just completed a stint in the Toyota Vios, the new Toyota Vios, the fourth generation Toyota Vios, and it's it looks good. Definitely looks good. Better than previous Vios in terms of uh, total design. Everything like works together. I like how aggressive the car looks in certain ways, but it also has that polished look to it in terms of the exterior. The interior is quite good. It loses a lot of the of the fake leather stitching in the doors. The doors no longer have that fake leather stitching, which is a good thing. There's a little bit on the on the middle part of the dashboard. In the center console, it, uh, above near the air, center aircon vents, there's a bit of fake stitching there. And aside from that, the interior is typically nicely Toyota, nicely well put together. Since it's uh, B segment, affordable se the affordable segment is also made out of a lot of hard plastics, but well screwed together. So no complaints there. So we are now on the way to Desaru from Laka after lunch there's a bit of rustling of wind at, at about 150-160 km per hour if you are really driving fast so aside from that overall refinement wind noise is actually very well under control uh, it's quiet and comfortable in the rear and in the front the driver is the only problem is at speeds higher than 120 the driver needs to work harder in the driver has got to concentrate more on what's happening, how the car is striking. It gets affected a bit by a bit of wind and turbulence and all if there was a big large vehicle on the side passing by. So you need to concentrate a bit more at higher speeds if you're driving this Vios. But aside from that, it's a normal easy to drive B segment sedan. Other than that, I find space is good, boot size is good, the 1.5 litre engine is uh, is actually works well with the 7 speed CVT gearbox, it feels like it's working together, they have a nice working relationship, The whatever horsepower that it has from the engine, it managed just to pull it out and it's quite efficient. There is a bit of hollowness in initial, initial acceleration but after that when it's up to speed so I have no complaints in terms of the 1.5 engine just got back to the hotel after dinner and we basically covered over 400 kilometers from UNW Toyota headquarters in Shah Alam to Hard Rock Desaru so and then later after dinner, we actually, I and another chap took the car out for another night drive. So we have basically covered a good 450 kilometers in the all new Toyota Vios. So quite good, quite a good mix in the end, as you can see from the videos that we've actually did highway driving, city driving and in fact it rained heavily here in Desaru at night and we did a little night driving in the wet so we understood how well the car performs now let's go in terms of ride comfort it is very comfortable for a B segment sedan priced under what around 90,000 ringgit it's actually very comfortable it's very refined little wind noise there's some rustling at the C pillar or near the quarter window panel but overall in terms of road noise and its overall uh, NVH one of the better B segment compact sedans out there very well done in terms of how it handles well it is a B segment sedan so it's made to a certain price so handling will not impress those who are after 
performance based handling, sporty handling, sporty kind of feel. It is a car that performs well up to maybe 120 kilometers per hour. And above that, you've got to put it into sports mode to firm up the steering. The electronic power steering motor will actually tighten up, make the weighting of the of the steering feel heavier aside from of course uh, changing engine mapping gearbox mapping a little so making it uh, hold the hold the CVT's uh, ref slightly higher instead of like keeping things low and economical it everything is up a notch maybe by 200 rpm at at certain certain speeds so everything is tightened up when you use the sports mode in the new Vios so that's a very good thing. So if you want to drive fast in this Vios, make sure it is in sports mode. So the good thing there's eco mode, there's the normal without anything on the dashboard, and there's also a sport mode. The car has got a lot of nice goodies in terms of uh, functions. There's also a trip meter. There's also something that actually says that that you can save like three ringgit if you drive this so so called speed. You know, uh, eco mode works and also. It's all in the trip computer and there are basically gizmos for you to play around with in the car. So that's nice. Okay, so after talking about the CVT gearbox and also the steering in sports mode, let's talk about the engine. Uh, engine, front wheel drive chassis like every other Vios that has came before this. Uh, four cylinder 16 valve double overhead camshaft, dual VVTi, 1.5 liter makes about 107 PS and 140 Nm of torque at about 4200 RPM so the car is for a normally aspirated engine it's kind of good um, tune more for torque than horsepower works well with the gearbox so it will allow you to actually push the car and be economical at the same time so according to what we've got we've got uh, we did four over 400 kilometers one way and if you think about it it only has a 42 liter tank with three journalists inside pushing the car you if you do the math it's actually quite good so in terms of fuel consumption tractable power from a small 1.5 liter engine it's good enough uh, it'll allow you to cruise up to maybe easily in, uh, up to about the national speed limit before it runs out of power because it's just a small engine but for 1.5 liter for Malaysia it's just nice suitable for our roads and our for the daily commute no complaints unless you are expecting it to have supercar performance which it isn't it's just our B segment compact sedan so in terms of uh, safety equipment it has traction control ABS EBD uh, heel start assist it also has uh, the blind spot monitoring system it also has a rear cross, cross traffic cross traffic alert system so the rear cross traffic alert system we actually managed to try it out at night just recently I don't sorry I don't have footage for you, but it actually works you detected a car while we were pulling out from the car park reversing out of the parking lot the thing actually beeped on both there'll be a warning and then you'll the lights it will light up uh, the blinds the same sensor we used by the blind spot monitors it will light, light up on both side mirrors so you will know that there's a car or a person or whatever walk, coming behind you while you are coming out from the rear so it does work bliss the blind spot monitoring system I think it's a bit uh, a bit not sensitive it it's it doesn't work as well as what we expected it to work so it could be down to a bit of tuning since the car is new and it's it's, it's basically going to be assembled here in, in in Toyota's new Bukit Raja plant so it's it's uh, it just opened in January so we, I suppose that this batch of cars is the first batch and there could be some things that, uh, that they need to sort out. So uh, no final wording on, on that. But 
Overall, I'm quite happy that the rear cross traffic alert system works and please while it's a bit not as sensitive as I would like or it doesn't work as well it's not as sensitive so it doesn't catch anything when you want it to so I would say that okay that's a work in progress but overall it's it's good it's packed with a lot of safety features for a car in the B segment so aside from that the panoramic view monitor in the infotainment system is good because it you can actually let it run throughout how fast you're going so you can have your 360, 360 camera can, can on or you can point it at the left to the right or to the front or to the back so you can just so it's pretty good. have that camera recording and uh, running all the time through the infotainment system there but you can always off the thing by pressing on the button there's a button at the side uh, on the left side of the steering wheel for the driver to press hold for about 10 seconds and it will turn back to the normal infotainment screen so that's not a problem so the other thing the optional DVR system also has a has also uh, it has a lane departure warning and also a proximity sensor of how far the car in front of the collision alert kind of thing but it's a bit too sensitive on this point it's a bit like a nanny it mothers you too much so on that point if they could reduce the sensitivity to a bit more or even reduce the sound of the the warning the beep to something a bit more tolerable because the beat was loud and uh, yeah I wish it was a bit more this one so the optional DVR system is is good in some ways because it records whatever you want to but the warning system warning systems that it has while good is a bit too sensitive okay then uh, other than that there are certain other details like the rear charging points there are four charging points in the car which is quite a lot two are in the rear they are the rear ones are slow charging they are not a uh, fast charger so that means yeah, i think it could be it could be a one ampere charge it's going to take a while for you to charge maybe it's just there for you to use while you're in the car for your children or your, the passengers in the rear to use the thing so that's about it and aside from that yeah we've also found that uh, if you want to open the boot from the outside you need to carry the key with you if you don't have the key with you the boot will not open from the outside you have to go and walk to the driver's side uh, near the door seal the usual place where there's a fuel filler cap and the boot release you have to use the boot release if you don't have a key in close proximity with you so that's quite a good safety feature you know so all in all the vios is a complete small family car it does has its good things refinement is good and vh is good but i think the steering is a little numb don't expect too much handling from it from it even toyota i think designed this car to to be transport for a small family not sports performance car so yeah as i said it's a compact family car drive it like a compact family car and then things will be okay Alright, there you can see I'm already in my bathrobe and whatever rope, no? the hotel rope and all and you know, it's late and I'll uh, call it a day in a while. So, uh, do subscribe to Motoring Malaysia, we'll, I'll try to make content more often. Yep, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, uh, if you have any comments, do comment. Praise will be better than Brick Bats. Uh, but then again, hit that subscribe button.